No, well, I, I had to be in it because uh, it's my character. And uh, I've been in all of them except Halloween 3, which was a diversion from the story. And uh, so naturally they asked me to do it and I did it. And I'm doing it. And uh, it's very enjoyable. And it's going to be a very good film. I think it's probably, probably one of the best. Everything's gone quiet. Until at the beginning of this film, number six, a kind of disc jockey rakes it all up because he's intent upon coming to Halloween, to Haddonfield, sorry, to this sleepy town of Haddonfield where it all happened and stirring it all up again. Um, they've had six years without any trouble from Michael Myers. And everybody thinks that he's dead, except Dr. Loomis, except me. I know he's still alive. I think that uh, Michael Myers is, I always did, I always found him to be much more frightening than the other ones, you know, like Jason or anything, because I just thought that the plain white face, that mask is just, there's something really creepy about it. And uh, I think when we do a scene and he would just walk, and even though I knew who the guy was that was playing him and everything else, uh, it, there's, there is something weird about that. Or when we would have to run down a hallway, we'd duck around a corner, and then we would have to just wait around the corner, and then we'd ha wait for Michael Myers to come walking around, and then he'd walk around the corner right towards us, and then he'd yell, cut. But to wait and wait, and then all of a sudden he comes around, it's pretty weird. It's pretty, pretty scary. My character, Tommy, uh, comes from the first film. And Jamie Lee Curtis was babysitting this little kid named Tommy, who, uh, after Halloween 1, is just kind of f forgotten about, really. He survived uh, in the original story. And so he's now come back, and we've learned what his life has been like a little bit. Um, there has been a moratorium on Halloween in Haddonfield for the last six years because of the mayhem that ensued the last time there was Halloween, and so they just decided that we have to just call Halloween off because whenever we have Halloween, Michael Myers wreaks havoc, and it's a bloodbath. So they're, they've just denied October 31st for the last six years. Well, what's happened this year is they've decided forget about it. We're bringing Halloween back. And because all the kids and all the teenagers, they want Halloween back. And so they're just going to do it. And Michael Myers, be darned. So um, they're bringing it back. I think what touches us in this movie is that mask. That mask is so scary because of the complete and utter lack of emotion on the mask. Because if it's a human face, you almost feel like you could reach the, the, the person, reach out to them, and maybe try to, you know, in some way, prevent them from doing what they're about to do. But the mask covers the face, so he's almost not human. Um, and is he human? Is he not human? You know, at this point, we don't know, because he's certainly been able to endure a lot of, of bodily harm without dying. But um, that mask is so, so incredibly scary because it lacks emotion and it's, it makes the, him inhuman. Well, I think the, the, Mike, the, Hall the success of the Halloween series is based on the whole Michael Myers character, which is, you know, he is the boogeyman. And, uh, and this, as we talked about earlier, about, you know, childhood, uh, fears and childhood things that scare you in the kid. It's the boogeyman. It's the guy who like comes out of your closet and like wants to kill you and your family. That's the boogeyman. And I think that's what the original Halloween, Michael Myers, that he's the boogeyman. He's the guy. He's the the killer with the mask on. You can't talk to him. You can't deal with him. And he just wants to get you, and he'll do whatever he has to do to get you. And there's like, you know, and that's a that's a that to me is a very scary thing when 
you can't deal rationally with whatever is coming after you. What I try to do with um, Halloween is I try to shoot it in a, I try to give it a sense, more sense of a style. Some of the, some of the, like, when you get into sequels of you know, these, <laughs> you get beyond two and three and you're into five and six, it's a lot of it, sense when I, as a viewer, as someone who goes see these movies, it's like you just get a sense that they're just put, they're just shooting the movie and they're just giving the people their decapitations, or you know, just giving them like the body count. And what I try to do with Halloween is go, sort of go back to giving it a sense of style and giving the whole movie a sense of air of menace. So, I mean, well, no, that's yeah. Cool. I'm sure. yeah. Well, we actually put up the tree. We can put it anywhere in the tree. So, I mean, you fall right in the center, right between them. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, it's, yeah, it's got to be somewhere between them. Ready and rolling. Rolling. Fading. Cameras. Ready. Camera speed. Marker. Clearing, set, and background. Three, two, one, action. Cut! Cut! I went a little sooner. Yeah. Eight. Back to one. Test. Clearing. One second, please. How many sets? Set, set, set and action.